Hello, this is a tutorial from Shubba Bubba 102696. Today it's going to be a platform slash shooter game where you can, you know, press a button and it shoots out rock or something from a gun, maybe a bullet. But anyways, I'm going to be using Game Maker 8 Pro. You do not need Game Maker 8 Pro though, you just need like a regular Game Maker latest version doesn't really matter uh... yeah so first thing just get a bullet sprite uh... i don't really think it matters how big it is or anything uh... see so yeah, here's my bullet it's not really a bullet it's more like a rock but anyway so that's that now i'm going to be using the objects and the game from my platform game tutorial because it's a platform shooter, so I've already programmed in all the um, all the the platform stuff. It's and if if you don't know how to do this, then go to my other tutorial on platform games, and it's the same exact thing of what I already you you see here of what I typed in. So, anyways, first thing you do is you make an object, object three or whatever your bullet is going to be make it the sprite of the bullet and then in the create event put control code okay so I'm gonna make it so that it's only one bullet there's only gonna be one bullet there's no left and right bullet it's gonna be the same exact thing in order to do that and I'm gonna use in code so in order to do that we're gonna put uh, if uh, object one object one is my player object one dot um, image index is equal to zero then h speed is equal to eight so what this does is um, for beginners may look a little bit complicated but it's not the ob this this object one is the player and this dot means it's one of the it's one of the object before its variables so it's when we put the dot here whatever after is the dot it's talking about this object's variable so we're talking about the players image index we're talking about the players image index so if the player is image his image index is zero, which means he's facing right, then our h speed is eight, so it's moving right. However, if the image index is equal to one, then it's a negative. So yeah, that's uh that's pretty useful that dot there. That'll work. And then collision with object two or your wall object put another piece of code instance destroy destroy there we go that's just destroying it and also put in if it's outside the room then instance destroy where is instance destroy here it is so in this case if you fire like a bazillion bullets in your game and they go outside the room or anything uh, it won't slow it, it, if you don't put that in they'll just keep on piling up and eventually it'll start to slow down because when it's outside the room it's still calculating X and Y values so you can just destroy the bullet when it goes outside the room and, okay so that's our bullet then here in the step event but if keyboard you can copy this this if keyboard check pressed our our firing bull uh number is going to be x or letter so if you press x instance create x y object 3 which is our bullet And yeah, uh, keyboard check pressed or Z.
using this create x y so when you press the x button then it'll create the bullet right where you are oh and another thing you might want to do is in your sprite you might want to add like a gun to the person or something that it shoots it out of you know so like here I could just put like a I could put a something like this that it'll shoot it out of or you know it, it doesn't look like anything at all but at least there's something there that it looks like it's sort of shooting out of you don't have to have it though it just it just looks really weird if there's nothing there although it still looks really weird in this but yeah just add like a gun or something to your game like that this should work I hope it does Yay, it does work. Cool. Yep, I guess that's basically it. If you, uh, if, you know, you jump up, if it hits a wall, destroys. If it goes outside the room, it destroys. Guess that's really it. Guess I'll see you guys next time.